hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start adding collisions and gravity to our player so for this purpose we will be using the character controller and if you don't know what a character controller is you can just consider this character controller as a motor that will drive our player okay and this character controller comes with a built-in collider and character controller also handles steps and slopes okay so for this reason we will be using the character controller so just add the character controller component to the player and run on the gizmos as you can see this is the character controller let's change the y value to 1 of the character controller and let's make the radius as 0.2 and if we move to the side of the player as you can see this is the character controller let's increase the C value of the character controller to this position okay so that we when we come closer to the wall or any object so this character controller will hit first with the wall or any object and the player will not get inside that wall or any object okay so you can just move this character controller a little bit forward or you can actually just make this 0 and make the radius of it as 0 0.4 or something okay but we want the radius to be small so that it just cover this body and right here we will increase this C value to 0 0.1 okay that is it we have the character controller right here and as I told you the character controller is like a motor that will drive our player around the environment so for that reason now we can't use this transform dot position instead of this we will use something else but first of all let's add a reference to our character controller so right here we will say player collision and gravity and then in here let's create a, a reference to the character controller let's name this as CC character controller and then right here we will remove this and instead of this we will type let me actually make this C capital both of the C's so character controller dot move and we will add the other code inside this bracket so now if we save this and get back to unity we have the character controller right here okay now we can just simply drag and drop that in there let me actually minimize the animator so we will be just focusing on the player script okay now if we play the game you will notice that our player will be walking perfectly fine just like before okay as you can see the player is walking perfectly fine okay so now if we try to run into something for now the environment doesn't have any colliders okay any of this thing doesn't have any colliders so that's why the player can still walk inside these objects so now what we will do we will add colliders to everything in the environment so if we extend the environment right here we have the roads to the roads we will not add anything but to the props okay these are all of the props we will be adding colliders to this everything okay let me actually select this one and let's add a collider to it so we will add the box collider let's check it out okay it doesn't look good for now if we add a collider to this and uh, let's play the game and see how does it looks okay so now you can notice that we can't walk inside this object now okay but as you can see it is a box collider so our player is not interacting with this object 
the way we want so we will just actually remove the box collider okay so right here we will add a mesh collider instead of the box collider okay and actually let me click on prefab unpack completely that's it okay so we have the mesh collider added now it will work perfectly fine if we now run towards the this thing okay I don't know what it called so now as you can see the collider is working perfectly fine okay now as you can see okay so to objects like this you will have to add a mesh collider that is it okay now let me actually remove this mesh collider because to the props okay to all of the props we will be adding the mesh collider or actually to these things okay these tables etc we will be adding the box colliders okay so let me just check its name it is wood construction okay so right here in in there search for wood construction now as you can see it is showing all of the woods construction and as you can see these are all of these things okay this wood construction okay so to all of this we will be adding a box collider like that as you can see box collider is added to all of them okay later we will be doing some changes with the box collider of these things okay because we will be performing parkour on them but for now we can just now leave this as it is okay add box collider to them and then after this let me check this wood barrel okay to all of this wood better and boxes okay here it is foot better and wood box okay select all of them you can just hold down the shift button okay and it will select all of them from there from here to here let's add a box collider to them as well okay as you can see now once box collider is added to all of them now to this barricade wall short let's add a collider to them as well barricade wall and also barricade short wall all of them click on actually prefab unpack completely we forgot to do that with the other but it's okay it doesn't matter okay so add the box collider like this okay and you can actually edit this box collider and move it a little bit down below okay so we have added box collider right there to this uh, what it's called the short walls now if we select this thing what it's called it is peric fall around okay pericad wall round where is it okay in the whole environment there is just two this this pericad wall round is just two okay so from these two remove box collider add a mesh collider okay like this and that will be it for the props okay now we need to add colliders to our buildings as well okay so for example if we select some building closer to the player for now let me double click on player here it is let's for example select this building okay let's click on prefab and pack completely and select uh, I mean extend this whole building and then as you can see this is all of the things inside this building select all of them and to this add a mesh collider okay like that so now if we save this and play the game you will notice now that when we try to walk inside this building as you can see now we can't go inside this building okay 
and if we try to come right here as you can see we can't now walk inside this table as well and if you check this wooden boxes as you can see the player walks on this wooden box okay but we will be fixing that okay this is just due to the character I think offset or what it's called footstep I think if we click on the player right here in the character controller you can decrease this to 20 for example and then the player won't be able to walk around on these tables like that okay so now you know how to add colliders okay for now let's just add some other collider to for example now this building okay so this is the building this is the whole building I think we added colliders to this this is a whole building okay let's just add collider to this building for example okay so select it click on prefab unpack completely and then select all of the things okay the building main game object as well and add mesh collider okay and make sure that you add mesh collider to them and now if we play the game again this video is a little bit lengthy now but let me just test this one out as well so now as you can see we have added collider to this building as well and now as you can see it looks really beautiful okay so in this way you can add colliders to different buildings and props okay so this video is getting lengthy but I have shown you how you can add colliders to the buildings in the environment and also to the props now I hope you understand how to add colliders okay and now as you know that the player is colliding with the environment props and buildings and with this done in the next video we will be adding gravity to our player